So that now this is considered 9.1.2. Don't worry that it says A. Remember I cut and pasted. You know, fill out the rest of the sides and the angles. Fill out the rest of the sides and the angles. We've done that before on the previous homework. This one, remember when we did a quadratic function? So let's look. He hits a golf ball. Okay, when you hit a golf ball, does it go straight? No. Does it go like this? No. Well, when you hit that, it goes up and then down, or does it go down and then up? So hopefully you're seeing it's this one, which means that would be your vertex. So do me a favor, use the information. You can get the vertex, um, and then once you get the vertex, which is h comma k, you're going to use those x-intercepts to find the value of a. Okay? They want you to do the same thing in letter B, but they gave you the points right there. Sorry, my dog's always drinking water. <laughs> um, this one is dividing, so you can either do long division, you can do reverse box, or you can do synthetic division. I don't care which one. It's not asking you to find all the zeros. All it's saying is, hey, divide it. Okay? Um, the next page, this one's saying now find all the zeros. And I think it's the exact same problem. So it gave you one of the zeros. Maybe you'll get the other ones and be good to go. All right, when you're doing this, they want you to find the x equation of the exponential. So if you look here, that's the equation for an exponential. We're all not going to have the exact same thing, but it's kind of an um, estimate based on what looks like the exponential. I changed 919. So pause it and change it. Okay, it doesn't mean you're not doing it. I want you to find the coterminal standard position reference angle for negative 134. I want you to find coterminal standard reference for 464. And then I crossed off that part, but I added I want the measure of the missing sides. And um, let's do angles as well. Okay, so copy that down and make sure you're good to go.